you could see that this boy had talent. You could see that he would have been a really great ball player. Nicky was my best pitcher. The coaches called him Nicky Hearts because he, he was always, always the one that you could believe in and go to. And he could be one of the best kids we had, and he was. He was amazing. Just amazing. So what are you training for? High school tryouts. How long have you been training out here for? About three years. So the day I came out of the shower uh, just to begin my day, and then I remember Christian screaming, call 911, Nicholas fell. That moment I knew that the lives of, this, of him and that this whole family would be changed forever. But when I turned the corner and Bob was saying, he fell, he fell, he fell on his face, he fell on his face. And then when I turned and I looked, I said, oh, crap. And I bent down, because Bobby was kneeling, and I bent down and I said, Bobby, this kid didn't fall on his face. This kid had a stroke. The first time we went to see him in the hospital, a couple weeks after it happened, we were all, we were scared and we didn't know. Like, we were seeing what the doctor was talking to him about, about moving his, his arms and his legs. And we were like, wow, this is really bad and we didn't really know what was gonna happen with Nick. I gotta send out best wishes from all of us here at Yes and the three of us here in the booth to Nicholas Kuropakis, 13-year-old. He's uh, battling tough, some health problems at Stony Brook University Hospital on Long Island. A huge Yankee fan, watches all the games. Hang in there, Nicholas, keep fighting, and we're all rooting for you, buddy. Yes, we are. But the community coming together the way they did, visiting him, talking to him, it was huge, because this was, this was, anyone's child. So he started to come back, and we're like, we're gonna have to treat this kid a little differently now that he's changed. And he's working, he's working, he's working, and he's getting better, but we can still see he's not the same. As time goes on, the first day we get back on the field with him, we're playing again, and he's out there like nothing ever happened, he's playing, and we're like, wow, this is, this is special. This is what I'm gonna tell you about that doubleheader. It was, uh, the boys were playing, they were, um, it was a four league game, and they had to win one game to clinch a championship, two to tie, and Nicky came to the game. And all the boys wanted Nicky to play, so he played, and they lost. <laughs> and he carried him off the field. <laughs> they won the next game when Nicky played, and they got a tie, but I still have that picture on my phone of them carrying him off the field. <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. So we're on our way to the uh, Kings Park High School baseball field for Nicholas's high school tryouts. I'm probably not going to make it. Don't say that. Because what if I uh, mess stuff up? Like, what if I make an error? What have you been training for the past three years? This is where it started, right here. This is week one, what, about two and a half years ago? Yeah. We began on this target from eight feet, um, and Nikki hit that target, what would you say, out of 15 two. throws? Yeah. Two or three times? Yeah. Take a shot. There it is. There it is. That's where it began. That's where it began. The journey started. And where we are two and a half, three years later, um, I'm amazed, to be honest with you. We went back. The next week it was 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet. We kept moving back, moving back, moving back. More balls in the target, more balls in the target. Retraining how to use his base, his legs. Get his arms into the proper position, the grips and everything else. Absolutely learning from scratch all over again. And the amazing progress he made uh, to where we are actually today um, is a credit to him and all the hard work, your parents, OTs, PTs, uh, his brothers, everybody who was involved uh, with this thing. It, it became, it became a, a total team project. Only half his body was working on a swing. So we had to work on taking the other half of his body and making up for the power that he wasn't, he wasn't actually getting it around, which was never, look at that shot. When we first started, 
I mean, it was amazing that he even hit the ball. And, but his, his desire and determination is second to nobody. Well, just coming back here today and seeing where we started, I realized that day, his attitude, his heart, how he approaches everything he does, he's not gonna fail, okay? He's not gonna allow himself to fail. When everything went well, when he was able to do something he wasn't able to do before, of course, it's, it's great. We're all enjoying it. But for him, those weeks where it didn't go well, where we took a step backwards, no attitude, no anger, uh, no quit, just kept going. The most tenacious human being I've ever met in my life. Now I just made the team. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be part of the organization. Just never give up. If anybody could do it, he could do it. I, I always knew that he has the heart and he has the desire, he has the talent, so he has a little handicap. He can fight through it. I've uh, coined the phrase, better than you were yesterday. Better is not a destination, better is a journey. And every time I see Nikki, he's better. I mean, it's, it's a miracle. Nikki's strong. It's not just a phrase, it's a, it, it's a statement. You think of that, you think of the whole thing we went through in our relationship together, and it just reminds you of how lucky you are sometimes to be playing the game. It's a will, it's a desire, it's refusal to give up. He was given a task that I really don't think many people could ever work their way through. And he's done it with grace, with style, with class, and with just that inner desire. It was right on and it's still right on. I mean, it's if anybody could do it, Nicky Strong, Nicky could do it, because he's just one of the strongest kids I've ever known. And everybody should take something from him, they'd never give up.